Hi guys, welcome back to my channel today. Um, I just finished making lunch and dinner and it's super rainy outside and I'm trying to get some other things accomplished. I have collected quite a few books over the last couple of months so I thought I would share with you guys. It is all right here. I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet. Just in case you are new around here, my favorite place, my absolute favorite place to get books is from the library because they're free. <laughs> Um, but this year because it is our book year and oh, I just couldn't help myself um, I found some really great deals on books and I knew we would be breezing through them um, so I just decided to go ahead and build a little bit of our library and then I thought that um, I could always give them away um, for secondhand reading um, once we made our way through them so uh, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So I'm just going to show you what I have gotten. First, I will start with the books that were gifted to us. The first series of books that I was gifted were Magic Treehouse books. I have this lovely, luscious stack of Magic Treehouse books of which I am still missing quite a few, but this is an amazing start. This book was sent to me by the author, which I was super grateful for. Journey to Jericho, The Secret of the Hidden Scrolls. Um, we didn't dive into this one just yet because I wanted to start at book one. These came from Target. They were on super sales. Who was Dr. Seuss? Martin Luther King Jr. Harriet Tubman. Albert Einstein. The Declaration of Independence and who was Anne Frank. Books that I picked up from Ollie's, you guys know I love Ollie's. Um, they're not always like the number one selection, but they're such great prices that I have a very hard time turning them down. The Borrowers Collection, it includes The Borrowers Afield, The Borrowers Afloat, The Borrowers Aloft, and The Borrowers Avenge. The next one I got, now you guys, disclaimer, I have no idea how these books are gonna turn out, but they were so dirt cheap that I just couldn't pass them up and I didn't. This one is Disney's Pete Dragon, The Lost Years, Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry. I love it when they have these special collector editions at Ollie's. This one was Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. It is beautiful and it has color illustrations. This is really helpful for say my um, younger son who is definitely reading um, more advanced books very easily but he still really enjoys seeing the pictures and especially he enjoys seeing the pictures in color. This one he just finished Stuart Little. And then the last set that I picked up from Ollie's is this Ronald Dahl Splendiferous Story Collection. James and the Giant Peach, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Fantastic Mr. Fox, and George's Marvelous Medicine. Okay next up this is the collection of books that I picked up from Barnes and Noble. Wild Robot which we absolutely love. So let's not judge me okay. <laughs> A lot of these books I selected and I know the kids are not going to get to them well this one obviously is for my older son um, and I know he's not going to get to them anytime soon but uh, I just love all different types of writing and I do know that I won't be able to get too far into this series I remember reading this when I was younger and I really enjoyed it so my goal is to read it again and see with a different perspective and mom eyes how I feel about it and then I will make a decision but I do remember really really enjoying it and I do want to expose the kids when the time is right to expose them to different writing and and different genres so I did get the Percy Jackson and the Olympians um, the lightning thief so this is not for him to read just yet it's for mommy to read first and I'll see how I feel about it then I also picked this one up story thieves it just looks like such a fun read so mommy's going to be reading and skimming through this one before I allow him to read it himself the next one I picked up was another Ronald Dahl and that is Matilda okay this one the dreamer Cameron finished this one and he really enjoyed it I have no idea how it was. I did ask him along the way how he felt about it. I did look it up on Common Sense Media. Um, this is the challenge for just really diving into books is that I'm not going to be able to reread everything. So I'm still praying about that and still making my way through it. I don't have all of the answers. Um, however, I do talk to them quite a bit about things to look for and I just really try to get their insight and input on what they've read. So I don't know. I'll still make my way through that, but he really enjoyed 
um, this book. I'm sure I didn't get to cover all of the talking points that I would have if I read this with him, but I just think in general, it was just a really good accomplishment for him to read through the whole book on his own. This is another book that my oldest finished up on his own that he really enjoyed, and this is just Fish in a Tree, The Swiss Family Robinson. And then the last one that I picked up from Barnes & Noble is Aesop's Fables. These are also books that I picked up from Ollie's, but they are picture books. So I have an absolute fascination and obsession with picture books. I really, really do. Um, they are expensive, and so we do not collect them in my household unless they are gifted to us or um, things like that. But what I have found, um, Ollie's has such great prices on a lot of these books that I have found different ways to incorporate them in our homeschool and make them work for us. This one is Joseph and His Coat of Many Colors. And these end papers, I mean, I'm so obsessed, you guys. <laughs> look at it, you guys. Like, look at it, seriously. <laughs> I've already shown you this one, which is Noah's Ark. And then the last one I got was Jonah and the Whale. Artwork just as beautiful. And I picked up Edgar Gets Ready for Bed, based off of Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven. So um, I'd like to get into details on how I use these books, but I thought maybe they would come in future videos because I want to try and make my videos not too long. <laughs> This is just basically one of those books with very, very little words. And I like books with little words, but they do require some creativity learning how to use them. Um, we actually use these for storytelling and writing um, a lot like we would use wordless books, which I plan on doing a video um, about how we use wordless books as well. Author that I find quite often in Ollie's is Margaret Wise Brown. She has a lot of books there that we really enjoy collecting. She's the author of Good Night Moon. So this one is Wish Upon a Dream. It's one Lost Bear. You guys have seen Savannah read this one before. When I am looking at illustration, of course I'm looking for something beautiful, but I love the details. Um, when there are lots of details and there's lots of talking points, for me with the kids, like you see how the sun is setting or if I can tell that there are different, different medium used. We try to point out what may have been done in oil pastel or colored pencil or um, different uses of shading. Um, so those are the things I look for when I look at the pictures inside of these books. This is another one by Margaret Wise Brown, All the Little Fathers. What really struck me about the art in this book is the use of texture. And you guys, the end papers. Oh, I love them, they're so cute. Um, the way she used shading. See how beautiful the illustrations are. The next one I got is Naughty Mabel Sees It All. The kids really love silly stories like this. <laughs> uh, books like these are great for a lot of character conversation. You guys know the deal. But when a book is less than $2, I am just all on it as long as it has some of the things that I am looking for. This one is Bunny Loves to Read. The thing that I took note of the most was the punctuation. Um, we highlighted the punctuation quite a bit and did a lot of um, storytelling and inflection with this one. These two picture books actually were gifted to me as part of a subscription box from a company called Little Feminist. Um, I have a video that's coming on what I think about um, the two boxes that she sent to me. Um, the best part of them is that you get this beautiful book to be able to add to your collection. And this story is, I love a lot. And <laughs> this is one of those books that would definitely be on my suggested list. Um, for all the reasons but maybe I will highlight those in another video and this was the second book that I received as a part of the subscription box this is Jabari Jumps so now I'm gonna move on to our book outlet haul her first series the Sophie Mouse books hi Savannah hi guys I'm gonna show you all my Sophie Mouse books and this is Sophie Mouse book one and it's called a new friend. So there's a little mouse and her name is Sophie. Patty Fog is Sophie's best friend. And she has this book one. See? <laughs> the Emerald Berries. And then this is Sophie and old friend Patty. <laughs> and then we have Forget Me Not Late. 
that can help Winston see his white tail and Sophie's trying to find him, but she's distracted with the butterfly. The Maple Festival, book seven, and it's called The Clover Course. This is book eight, it's a surprise visitor. Book ten, and it's called Raining It's Point. This is book um, eleven. The mouse house. She loves playing with her friends and the dogs. This is our last one. There's two more books we have to get. But this is book 12. Johnny T. the Crystal Cave. She likes to go on adventures. So these are all her Sophie Mouse books. These were also from Book Outlet. You know, it's hard. It's hard to find books that fit for your boys and your girls, but I do enjoy for my son to read about strong female characters as well as my daughter to read about strong male characters. So, um, this one is the Wollstonecraft Detective Agency. This is book one and he is actually currently reading this, The Case of the Missing Moonstone. He is enjoying it so far. Um, he's a little bit more than halfway through, so I'm really glad that he likes it, which means that he's probably going to like the second book as well. This is the second book, The Wollstonecraft Detective Agency, book number two, The Case of the Girl in Grey. I could not pass this one up and of Green Gables. I don't know you guys. <laughs> I totally judge books by their covers. Um, This one is Wish. With a little luck you can get what you wish for. So this one's by Barbara O'Connor and I guess we will see how it goes. We enjoy reading Catherine Applegate books around here. Uh, it's kind of hit or miss. I haven't quite figured out her voice as an author. <laughs> Um, if that makes any sense, um, there are many of her books that we really enjoy and then there's some that are a little bit questionable. So I don't know. We'll just keep it up and see what we think of this one. This is Wish Tree, another one from Catherine Applegate, and she is the author of the one and only Ivan is Crenshaw. I really like um, stories with animals in them. I find that they're less likely to... <laughs> to offend and frustrate and things like that. I don't know, I'm taking it step by step with this whole reading thing, but I'm determined to make our way through it because I think there's just such benefit from learning of all different types of stories, not just um, super wholesome stories. So right now, um, a lot of their books they're reading on their own are more wholesome stories, um, but this is our attempt at you know, venturing into some stories that might bring up some good discussion and character conversation and things like that. So I don't want to shy away from that. Anyway, that has nothing to do with this book. <laughs> so this is probably next up on our read aloud list and we'll see how it goes. Another series I'm hoping is going to be a hit for my oldest and my and my younger son as well, but mainly this was geared for my oldest to give him some series to kind of try and get hooked on. But this one is called The Treasure Chest. It's the time traveling adventures of the Robbins twins. So this one is based around Alexander Graham Bell, the master of sound. So I've got that one, Amelia Earhart, Lady Alindy. You guys, I probably shouldn't even try it, but Queen Lulu Kalani, Royal Prisoner, Alexandra Hamilton, Little Lion. And the last one I have is Leonardo da Vinci, Renaissance Master. So I'm really excited for him to get into these. I'm probably gonna read them with him because I'm kind of interested. <laughs> And we'll see how it goes. These were my selections also for my oldest son. Um, this is another one about the Holocaust times, the war that saved my life. I heard this one was really good. So I'm excited to read this one with my son. Um, we read um, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. Um, so this will be another one to add to that time period for me and my oldest so I'm excited to read this one with him. This is one of those complicated subject matters types of things but I like when they have real life 
um, complicated issues inside of a kid's book from a kid's perspective. Um, I like the idea of that. This one is All Rise for the Honorable Perry T. Cook. He's got a complicated situation, but I've heard really good things about it, so I'm excited to read this one with my oldest as well. This one, is this considered a classic? This is The Penderwicks, A Summer Tale of Four Sisters, Two Rabbits, and a Very Interesting Boy. Escape from Aleppo. So this book is about, well, I don't, I'm not even going to go there because this is going to make my, my video even longer. But um, I am excited to read this one. I'm, and now I'm finally on the last one. This is just a paperback of Peter Pan. It's still a very beautiful book and I'm excited to read this story with them as well. I think I'm all done, you guys. I have gotten through all of my books and now I have all of this mess all this mess to clean up and get back on my shelves but i hope you guys enjoyed this video showing you what we have collected and what we hope to make our way through i'm really excited because we've made our way through quite a bit of these already and we just began our book year not too long ago so i am looking forward to the time when i get to do a video and say that we made our way through all of the books and i hope to have um more of like a quick summary slash recap on how we liked the books and what we thought about them. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure that you are subscribed if you want to see more from us. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and we will see you in our next video.